Hello fellow machinists, this is Neil Butterfield with my tailstock tap die holder demonstration video. To purchase this fine tool, go to my website shown here, www.neilsniche.com. I've also shown here my email and phone number. Uh, it'll be shown again at the end of this video, so don't worry if you didn't catch it all right here. The total tool consists of these seven pieces. So let's cut some threads. Here's a piece of 732nd hex brass held in a 3C collet. The hex brass is turned about 135 thousandths in diameter with the end chamfered. Here I'm hand holding the knurled sleeve and pressing on a number 632 die. See how nice that die cuts just with the hand holding? Release your grip, and then grip again, and it cuts again. Release. I'm not going to go all the way here. I'm going to stop it. As I continue the threading, I want you to see it come up against the, the shoulder. Hand holding again. Comes up the shoulder, and it'll take it right out of my hand. There. I can't hold it any longer now. It's up against the shoulder. We finished. We back it off now and we're all done. Here's a piece of 916 diameter aluminum bar stock. I'm going to tap it here. Uh, here I'm pressing the tap in. Uh, the tap drill holds a number 29 136 diameter drill. It's an 832 tap. Uh, I'm not going to tap the whole whole length here. I'm going to tap part way and then back it out. And uh, here I'm backing it out. Now I've reversed the spindle and I'm backing it out. Doing a little hand turning to help speed the thing out. Just to show you that you can do it either way. Slap a little more oil on that thing. A tap and uh, we'll press it in, push the with the sliding sleeve, we press the tap in again and it picks up the thread, pulls it in towards the headstock. You can see how lightly I have to hold the knurled sleeve. I can tighten my grip and it taps, release my grip and the tap turns with a workpiece. Uh, soon the tap will bottom out and I will not be able to hold the tap or hold the knurled sleeve, keep the tap turning. It'll take it right out of my hand. There we are now. We're all done. Here we have a piece of uh, 5 16 diameter cold rolled steel held in a three jaw chuck turned down to about 306 diameter for a 5 16 18 die held in the one inch die holder. Notice the stop handle resting on the front carriage side and then when I reverse it it flips over to the back side. Uh, I'm just I'm going to cut about half the thread and then we'll go back and we'll do another pass and complete it right up to the uh, near the chuck. Sorry but I forgot to mention earlier that all these demos are with my 9 inch south bend lathe and back here at about 95 RPM. Again, it's a lot like hand holding, but the, the stop handle, you can't hand hold. There, it re I reversed it and it flipped over, and uh, we finished the thread. Quick and easy, and uh, we're finished. This is a piece of uh, 11 16 hex cold rolled steel. I slap a little oil on that tap. It's drilled with a 5 16 drill for a 3 8 16 tap. Notice the stop handle Tommy bar resting on the front side of the carriage. It's got a chamfer on the hole, of course. When I push the tap into the hole, it starts pulling the tap along. Can't not hand holding. I have to adjust the carriage sometimes a little bit there to make sure the stop handle rests 
as it draws as the tap is drawn in. Now I stopped it and reversed it and the tap backs out with the stop handle resting on the back side of the carriage. We're going to back this out then we'll finish tapping on the second pass. There it's out now. Slap a little oil on it. Never get too much oil on these things. There I push the tap in again. Again, the Tommy bar, stop bar, resting against the front of the carriage. Slap a little more oil on there. Again, very much like hand holding, but not quite the same thing. I'll bring it until that tap bottoms, stops, reverse it, back it out, and we're finished. That's it, folks. I hope this was helpful. Nothing against eBay. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for eBay, but I recommend you purchase from my website and save the eBay 10% fee. Give me a call if you like. Hopefully I can answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.